Well, good morning. We're over on our double lot here today. We got a couple things going on. We've got siding going on on one house, but you also got a driveway going in. Or sorry, not the driveway, but the garage floor going in in our uh, second house here. So I'll let you have a look. <laughs> I have an ag a signed agreement. Looking good. So you can see the mesh in the floor. They pull that up, runs down, and then we smooth it off. And all the, the uh, garages have to have a slight slope to them. You never can tell once you're in there. But that runs any water in here outside. So there you go. In the end here, what we always like to do in the end of a garage floor is we like to thicken it up so that the back half of the, 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 most of the garage is about four and a half inches thick of concrete, but the back three feet of it, uh, you know, the part closest to the, basically here, to the outside is about six inches thick. So it's a better way to go. Not everybody does it because it's a little bit of extra concrete, but we really feel it's a good idea because it stops that slab from cracking. And we also cut it down the middle and cut it across, and I'll show you that later. Because if the slab concrete cracks, and if the slab does crack, we want it to crack where we say it should crack, so in the crisscross, as opposed to just in the single cut, which a lot of guys will do. Some guys won't even cut it at all. But uh, that's the way we like to do it. Not everyone does, but that's the way we do it. Show you some more later.